So, boys and girls, Thursday, I got some news. Well, in the last month, I got some news about cardiovascular disease. I guess I had hints of it here with my calcium score and a bunch of other things, but I kind of ignored it. Thought maybe, eh, everyone has it, sort of, is what they told me. But now, with this uh, premature ventricular contraction, very irregular heartbeat, it indicates that it's possible that I've got some serious problems in my veins. And now that leads to the possibility that I'm going to end up like some of my close relatives with a declining intellect and cognition in the next uh, five years, 10 years, something like that, into my 80s. 73 now. The fucking thing is that all of my life, well, there's a sign of it right there, a little poke, and my skin gets kind of weird. Anyway, uh, yeah. So all my life, my brain, my intellect has been my, the one thing that I really uh, feel like it's my key feature, the only feature I have, right? Didn't have looks, I didn't think, I think so anyway. And didn't have, you know, strength or masculine football ability. <laughs> so it was what, what I sort of used to get ahead in my social groups. You know, I was the science guy, even for the bad guys that I hung around with. So I mean, it's really important to me. And then in my retirement, it's been... You know, my gift, right? It's it's what I'm passionate about. And I'm just driving forward, at, you know, as fast as I can, learning as much as I can. Hopefully, with the idea of sometime in the future, integrating some of my theories and ideas and uh, giving back to humanity a unique view of the brain, molecular biology, naturalism, philosophy, that sort of thing. So, I mean, if that starts to disappear, uh, especially with an online presence in YouTube, and everybody's going to be like, oh, you know, Mike's kind of losing it, you know, and everybody's going to whisper quietly about the Basically, uh, my memory, short-term memory not working so well, not being able to put together words, that sort of thing. Anyway, but it occurred to me that um, I could give up, right? I could say, okay, my intellect is the most important thing all of my life. When I start to lose it, I'm going to check out. You know, I'm just going to let it go and uh, try to die, you know, on purpose. Uh, not necessarily, not, not that, but sort of let it go and lay down. <laughs> that sort of, or... I could redefine myself in some other way. And maybe instead of whispering about the cognitive decline of our elders, uh, consider just the change that they're going through, right? It's part of them, uh, a new kind of a new persona, <laughs> you know, that, uh, and laugh at it, you know, it, because it, it, it's funny when you fuck up mentally in a lot of ways so i mean that would be something we don't do in our culture right uh, we whisper quietly we stand aside and say oh no he's losing it that sort of thing uh why instead don't we celebrate that as another change another natural change like when we celebrate baby's first step maybe we should celebrate grandpa's first faux pas <laughs> in the same way as being a part of life. I mean, because we all go through it at one point or another. Even if it's in the last five minutes of your life, you'll have cognitive decline into the the great void, the darkness. So, I mean, I don't know. I could do that. And I think maybe that's kind of the way I want to go. And maybe I'll just, you know, crawl around in the woods like I used to when I was a little kid and 
just look at plants and imagine things and be quirky old Uncle Mike. Uh, it's an idea. It's a much more positive idea. And maybe there's, you know, maybe that's my contribution. You know, watch this. Uh, I mean, I put together a fucking amazing library of facts inside of this head, right? And if there's cognitive decline, it's like a huge city during the great earthquake or whatever, nat you know, natural disaster movie where you can watch the buildings fall. Just like boom, boom. It'll be spectacular when it falls. I don't know. Maybe we could do that. Uh, on the other hand, maybe I'm overreacting again because I'm always overly sensitive to my medical problems, right? I always have been. Since I was six years old, I have been looking out for the Grim Reaper. Uh, I have an intimate relationship with it. A lot of my friends, you know, it's like, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not that dumb. I know death is imminent. <laughs> always. Always just right here, you know, right next to you. I can get you at any time. But uh, I don't know, kind of a rambly thing. Uh, whatever it is, I'd kind of like to do it gracefully. I don't know if you can uh, gracefully stumble. Like, okay, if you're an amazing football player, right? And you just do like fucking, you know, you're, you are the best in your field. And then you start to lose the ability to uh, coordinate your muscles and limbs. And uh, you stumble onto the field. Can you stumble onto the field gracefully? <laughs> Can you stumble gracefully? So maybe that's a really good name for this idea, stumbling gracefully. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, the other hand. The other hand is maybe none of this shit will happen to me. Maybe it's just another one of my hypochondriac worries uh, where I will never, uh, you know, where I'll be Chris till the end. That would be cool, too, and we can celebrate that one. But I don't know. either way, I kind of want a positive spin. You know, I don't want people turning their head and whispering, and it's like, you know, fucking let's laugh about it. Let's put it out there. Is that Okay. Anyway, yeah, we'll see.